At the National Grid Electricity System Operator, we are responsible for keeping the lights on in Great Britain. To do this, we balance the flow of electricity through the transmission network at all times. Here at National Grid's Electricity System Operator, we forecast Great Britain's electricity demand on the transmission system. These forecasts are used by our Electricity National Control Centre to ensure electricity demand and supply are constantly balanced. The national demand forecast is essential for the smooth running of the electricity system. We want to improve national demand forecasts all the time, so to do this we must understand the electricity output from solar panels and wind turbines at national level. Now electricity from solar panels is particularly difficult to predict. It is, as you know, weather dependent and given GB's weather patterns can be volatile. Another difficulty we have is that all the installed solar capacity is connected to the distribution networks, not the transmission network, and therefore we have limited visibility of its output. It is always difficult to forecast something which isn't visible to you. This makes our job very challenging but also very interesting. With more and more solar panels connected to the grid, we wanted to find new advanced ways to forecast solar power. The system operator has a dedicated innovation team that sits within the central strategy department. We develop the innovation strategy for the system operator. This sets out our priorities for investment in innovation and we then execute the strategy by developing, funding and governing projects that tackle these priorities. Improving our short-term demand forecasting is one of our top priorities. So we got together with the energy forecasting team to tackle this issue of solar forecast error through an innovation project. The Alan Turing Institute is the UK's National Institute for Data Science, which applies advanced statistics and machine learning techniques to critical national data. A system operator representative from the Electricity National Control Centre participated in a data study group organised by the Alan Turing Institute. From these conversations, we saw an opportunity to use machine learning and deep learning to forecast solar power generation. After further discussions, we at Turing worked with the energy forecasting and system operator innovation teams to scope this innovation project. With the help of the system operator innovation team, we secured network innovation allowance funding for the project. We, along with the Alan Turing Institute, analysed a large volume of weather and solar power data and investigated different forecasting techniques. We settled on a new machine learning technique called random forest regression. Historically, our solar forecast took two basic variables, an estimate of installed solar capacity in a few large regions and a forecast of solar irradiance for that region. Using a simple relationship between the two, we produced forecasts of solar generation output for the different regions, which we summed up to give a total GB forecast. The new random forest approach considered around 80 input variables including temperature and much more granular solar irradiation data and gathered them for the past few years. It then took the estimates of historic GB solar generation output data provided by our partners at Sheffield Solar. The random forest model trains itself by finding hundreds of different mathematical pathways or decision trees to take those 80 inputs to arrive at an output generation figure. The model forecasts by running the 80 weather forecasts through these decision trees and takes the average as the new forecast. At the end of the project, our test showed that this new model could improve our solar forecasting accuracies by up to 10%. Working with the Alan Turing Institute on such cutting edge modelling methods not only improved the accuracy of our forecast, but also triggered us to think about very different forecasting techniques and approaches. During 2018, the Agile Delivery Team tested the new solar models against our previous models. We took the new approach and combined it with several other machine learning techniques in a multi-model ensemble forecast. Enhancing the project's initial output with these different machine learning methods, we have built a solar forecasting system which is 33% more accurate a day ahead. The innovation project run with the Alan Turing Institute was the first step towards delivery of new advanced forecasting capabilities in NGESO. We are currently running a strategic project to build a platform for energy forecasting aimed at delivering machine learning and other advanced technologies into our forecasting operations. Our main goal is to improve the accuracy of our energy forecasts. Improvements in our forecasts will help us run the system more economically and more securely. 
This means lower bills for all electricity consumers in Great Britain. You can find out more about this project and other successful projects by visiting our website at nationalgrideso.com forward slash innovation.